I created variable muscle action because I was trying to find a way to create a fat loss program where because most of the fat loss program you see out there they're always like full body workouts but the problem with that is once you start uh, training like stronger more advanced athlete is that after a while you start losing strength because it's full body sessions there's a ton of volume but it's hard to do multiple sets when you're doing full body workouts so strength usually decreases so variable muscle action basically what it does is you start your A series doing regular uh, typical hypertrophy type lift so you do work some slightly higher threshold more units so you get a strength response but once you move on to the B series or C series for lower body at that point uh, I kind of used science based off of um, occlusion training because occlusion training shows that it creates an oxygen deficit but What's interesting is research has shown that isotonic, slow control isokinetic, I'm sorry, slow control isokinetic contractions also leads almost the same level of oxygen depth as does occlusion training. So if you start an exercise doing slow isokinetic, so in a 3-0-3-0 tempo, and you follow let's say 10 repetitions by isometric contractions, then you increase intramuscular tension even more you create even bigger oxygen deficit and then i follow this with a quick isotonic contraction of 1010 to create more volume of work to create more lactic acid production and everything combined together that whole set lasts about 90 seconds and what happens is you get a huge amount of blood flow because you increase oxygenation post exercise but also all that lactate being produced will lead to higher growth hormone production higher igf1 higher norepinephrine so all like conditions that's going to help with uh, your fat loss so it's a great fat loss program it's different it's fun to do it's upper body lower body split it's also very good for hypertrophy as well